lovely. So I'm here with Yestin Linton Smith. One year since you started running, is that right? That's right. It's, uh, this weekend will be a year since I started running, since I got off the couch and started doing couch to 5k. So. Here at Burnham Joggers? or No, I, d I did it from the um, NHS Choices website ah, okay. from home on my own. But um, yeah, it's a, it's a year this coming weekend. Well, congratulations. That's amazing. So tell us, what made you get started? Uh, just one Sunday morning, I just woke up sitting at my desk and uh, just needed to do something about my, my weight and my health and um, I just couldn't sit in the pub anymore at eight o'clock at night you know wasting time you know yeah. I needed to move on and you know I, I, I needed to do something about my health generally so good for you uh, so there wasn't any particular trigger it was just no 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 it was, it was just the one morning let's do this and uh, I'd, I'd seen uh, a teacher uh, who's still on the BBC It'd Be Inspired website and uh, he was 30 stone and I'd seen him lose 10 stone and he, he's an he's a inspiration really and I thought I can do that. Yeah, so, and how much weight have you lost now a year So uh, I've lost now 40, 40, nearly 44 kilos as of today so, and I'm still losing it now. Uh, and I will stop at 80, so I've uh, 80 kilos net weight. So I've gone from 124.7 kilos down to today just uh, just under 80. That's 80, a whole 81. new wardrobe. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yeah. What that's, what's that been like? Yeah. So we, we waited on buying clothes. I've, I've just been to the skip within the last month and got rid of polo shirts, trousers, and everything. Yeah. Um, but we've waited on buying new things until just recently and I'm going to uh, Ascot races at the end of July and we've got a box, myself and my friends, um, as a treat to celebrate and so I'm having to buy a new suit for that. Lovely, a uh, bit of a celebration yeah. suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and then um, shirts and that I normally have made in Thailand which is where my right. partner comes from right. and we didn't last year because we knew I was on the process of losing weight so when we go next year I will buy them again but they have the yeah. made to measure you know so that's what lovely. I lovely lovely so tell us a bit about the highs and and maybe there were some lows over here so so the highs have been um, the first couple of weeks when I realized that I could actually do it so you know I had Michael Johnson telling me you can do this you know, <laughs> Love it. in my yeah. ear and um, you know, and I was finishing each run, each session, thinking, no, this is too hard. But the adrenaline in me was saying, after an hour, two hours later, you will go back out two days' time and do it again. And so I did that for eight weeks in the, the, the NHS Choices program. And the ninth week is when you finish. So I planned to finish in France. Yeah. And the first low was my hamstring went before I was due to travel to France. Just a week Just and a half, a wasn't it? a week yeah. and a half before oh I was due to finish the couch to 5K. So I went to France, I'd been told not to run, but you know me, you know. So I ran while I was in France and probably made it worse. Then I waited till we went to Thailand, which was another month later. And I started running on a treadmill in Thailand and I got through half an hour and 5K on a treadmill. So yeah not very nice running on the treadmill for me yeah yeah but job done and that was a high and I had two friends come out to go on holiday with us and they were just watching me from afar and they were just with amazed. their cocktails yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. They, were, they were just amazed they couldn't believe they were seeing me doing that so so that was the, the first high and then the next the 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 next high was really part my first part run, which was November, okay, which right, was probably yeah. where I met you for yeah. the first time, yeah. and um, that was that was brilliant, inspirational. I wasn't fast, and on my first park run, I walked for about 150 meters, and I swore I would never do that again. You have okay. so much willpower. I'm so impressed. <laughs> so the next time out, I did it, and I went all the way around without stopping. Yeah. And, and I try and do that all the time now. I set myself targets and try not to stop. But the lows really are these repeated hamstring injuries. And I, I don't know what I can do. I've researched everything. I am exercising. I'm building up stamina on other exercises and bike cycle. 
um, but the, the, the next real high, so that's the low, but the high is the people I've met, you know, you know both at park run, out when I'm running on my own, and then when I came to Burnham Joggers, and I saw Burnham Joggers in the streets around uh, Burnham one night, and I thought I'll Google them when I got home, and that's how I found you. Brilliant. And I joined you in January, end yeah, of January. Right, right. Um, and then I ran, I think I ran cross country before the end of February. Good sport. Yeah, and that was 10K. So I'd gone from 5K in November. I did the NHS choices, you know, 5 to 10K, bed, yeah. but that was a eight week plan or six week plan. Well, I did it in three weeks and, and that's what made me come here. And just now wanting to give back and encourage others. That's Which you hard. do a lot of because well, you're I a run director to. at Black Park, you're marshal in chief at a number of no. Burnham Joggers events. No. Uh, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I enjoy it, I enjoy it. And I just feel that, you know, Tanner Watt, my partner, he's, you know, if he's sleeping, he doesn't leave me there. Um, if he's working, he doesn't leave me there. So if I can give something back, which is what I've always done in my life. You know, I've been a scout leader for 33 years. I still run a football club. And that's important to me. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so Super Calera are still going strong and about to go in their 41st season. Wow. So, um, you know, but if I can give something back, I do. So if I'm not doing something and I'm injured, then I'll come and help. Well, yeah. it's much appreciated, no, I know. It's yeah, my yeah. It's my so pleasure. if you had to look back over the year uh, for one real, real high point, what, what would be oh, the one that you. You'll make me choose? cry again. Oh, uh, I was going to say, I have a hunch what you're going to yeah, say, but I'm not so, sure. <laughs> um, I said I wouldn't run a marathon or a half marathon. I just said it was beyond me. And, um, you know, but having thrown that statement out there a couple of times, I had to sort of go and book to do this half marathon in France, near my home in France, and yeah, yeah, a dollar on Saint Marie. And um, so I booked to do that on the 3rd of June. And, you know, it was touch and go in the weeks leading up to that, whether my hamstring would let me do that, be able to do that. And eventually I told people that I was going out to do it. And the support, the well of support from mm. everyone and encouragement was brilliant. So the, the real high was crossing the line at the finish and I came into the stadium, you finish in the stadium uh, and I'm hoping other Burnham joggers will come with me next year and do it. Um, and as you come in the stadium, everyone's sitting there in the stand and I came in, I was, you know, I wasn't far from the end, you know, there were I think it was 15 or 20 after me. And as I came in, there was a roar of, a, of applause and I just broke down. Oh, I, can I was just broken. And all I could think of was you lot and, and you know, how much you've encouraged me. So, wow. you know, and I'm full of admiration for people in the club for what they do and the training they put in. And they're just generally really nice people, really nice people. And I've really enjoyed my time so far. Oh, brilliant. Well, I'm looking forward to what's next because that's just an amazing things to achieve in one year, all that way to go from nothing to a half marathon to a run director of a, of a run that's now regularly 600, yeah. 700, 750 runners. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's, uh, it's yeah. absolutely fabulous. So thank you and uh, watch this space, I reckon. Yeah, yeah. thank you, Jenny. Brilliant. Appreciate Take care. That.